Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. On the 26th of December, Stephen's Day, uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu passed away uh, in South Africa. Now, as a religious leader who had a massive impact upon his country, his death was quite rightly seen as a huge event in South Africa and around the world. But reactions to his legacy have been very varied. You know, some people view him as a modern saint, a modern day saint. Others have been highly critical of him. Now, perhaps the problem is this, that in our polarized world, we persist in classifying somebody as either a goodie or a baddie. I mean, that's, I, as a kid, I grew up playing cowboys and Indians, and there were the goodies and there were the baddies. And uh, even watching a TV show, we often ask ourselves about a character, well, is he a goodie or is he a baddie? And as soon as somebody gets it wrong on a position or says something that we disagree with, we put them in the baddies category. You know, I've experienced this in my own life. Somebody recently told me on Facebook that they used to respect me as a preacher of the word, but because they disagree with me on one particular issue, that of vaccinations, they've now condemned me as no longer being a preacher of the word. And this is what we call cancel culture. Cancel culture is something that's very popular in the world today, where if somebody says something that's not politically correct or something we don't like, we, we boycott them, we, we cancel them. And we criticize the world for doing this, but actually Christians have been playing at cancel culture for a lot longer than the world has. Uh, and they've been doing it for certainly all my lifetime. And you know what? We can sometimes be nastier about it than the world is, and that's an awful shame. So, so what about Desmond Tutu? Well, he was a fearless voice in speaking out against the evils of racism and apartheid. And his leadership of the Truth and the Reconciliation Commission uh, was a, a hugely positive source of good for South Africa. Having seen what happened in some other um, countries where rule changed to, from minority rule to majority rule and the kind of bloodshed and the kind of horrors that took place, you know, South Africa has problems. But it could have been an awful lot worse. And Desmond Tutu was a major force in preventing things from being worse. Now, one major issue where I would disagree with, with Archbishop Tutu was on his agenda to see the church accept uh, morality in relationships that are contrary to God's word. I certainly agreed with him we should, that we should not hate people because of their sexuality, and nor should they be persecuted within society. But that doesn't mean that the church should forsake moral standards or, or biblical truth. Does that make Desmond Tutu a baddie because he took a different view from me on that? Not in my book. Overall, his life produced much blessing in South Africa, even if I think he got it wrong, very wrong, on an important issue. And perhaps it's time that we as Christians learned that we can disagree even over important issues while still acknowledging the good that others do. We need to stop cancelling each other. We need to stop being so quick to label people as goodies and baddies. Instead, we need to strive to love one another, even when we disagree or get it wrong. And if we can learn to do that, well, that would be a good legacy for Desmond Tutu to leave behind him. May God bless you today. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.